Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. Yes, you guys want me to do a review about Dumont Nitro Red, yes. Now I have already done a short video about this, but you guys want me to talk about it in a long form content. So I will do that. And I will also test Nitro Red with these fragrances, Hawas and Paco Rabanne Invictus side by side for the first time. So we're gonna see which one is the best. All right, gentlemen, grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. Nitro Red. And I will explain to you guys what I smell. So basically how I described this fragrance is that it is Paco Rabanne Invictus mixed with Baccarat Rouge and some more fruits added to it. That is what this one is. And this is Beast Mode. And basically if you like Invictus, then you're gonna like this one as well. That's how I explained it. Okay, so let me tell you what I smell and what the difference are between all of the fragrances. Okay, so on the face of Madonna, I have Nitro Red. Basically, this smells like a more luxurious version of Paco Robin Invictus. This also smells the most luxurious out of the three. It has that luxurious quality to it. I think because of the Baccarat vibe that is in there. Slight, by the way, I think 20% of Baccarat Rouge vibe. And let me look up the notes for you guys real quick. So in the top, you're gonna get apple, lavender, bergamot. I do get all those notes. Middle notes, watermelon. This is where we go different. Watermelon, cedar, and calamus. The watermelon note makes it more unique and gives it that luxurious, different kind of a vibe. I like it. And in the base, we get amber, sandalwood, and patchouli. So think of Bacroban Invictus, made more luxurious with 20% of Baccarat Rouge with a watermelon note. That is how Nitro Red smells and it is beast mode. Okay, let me compare it now to Invictus, the normal one. How close are they? So. Nitro Red is much more smooth, much smoother than the original Invictus. Original Invictus has that sharpness to it. It's really punchy to your nose, which I like on a distance, but close, I prefer Nitro Red right now. And they are like, how should I say, 70% the same. 70% the same, but they go in their different kind of a directions. Okay, let's see what Paco Rabanne Invictus notes are. C notes, grapefruit, mandarin orange. Where is my glasses? I can see shit. I can see shit. Okay, again. So in the top, you're gonna get C notes, grapefruit, mandarin orange, bay leaf. Oh no, that's middle notes, wait. Middle notes, bay leaf, and jasmine. And in the base, you're gonna get ambergris, gaillac wood, oak moss, and patchouli. Well, again, as I've said, they are close, but this one is just more sharp and more aquatic. While nitro red is more fruity, more luxurious smelling. Doesn't smell like cheap or anything. Let's look up Hawas. Let me test Hawas now on my other arm. Let's see what the difference is there and what smells the best to my nose. Okay. Okay. But I really love watermelon. Oh my God, watermelon in fragrances is amazing. I love Nitro Red. Okay. Let's look up the notes from Hawas because I still have the alcohol opening, you know, I it's hard for me to describe it right now. In the top, you're gonna get apple, bergamot, lemon, and cinnamon. Middle notes, watery notes, plum, cardamom, orange blossom. In the base, we're gonna get ambergris, musk, patchouli, and driftwood. Okay, what Hawas really has, and I don't mind it, I love Hawas. Just so you guys know, I love how it smells. But it has that aquatic, oceanic, cheap, note and i'm not saying that it smells cheap but they use this kind of a note a lot in cheaper fragrances so they also use that same note in antonio banderas blue seduction i think they also use that same note in versace pour homme 
yeah, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit and Mizoni Wave. So it's not bad, but it is that kind of an oceanic fragrance note that they use a lot in cheaper fragrances as well. And because I know that, to my head, brain, I make the connection then that Rassasi Hawas smells cheaper. So don't get me wrong, please. I do love Rassasi Hawas, but out of these three, Rassasi Hawas smells the cheapest because it has that oceanic fabric softener note. But it is very lovely. If I need to give it a number, you know, it's an eight. It's good. But I compare it to cheaper fragrances. Okay, which one lasts the longest? It is then between these two two which last the longest but i have a feeling i'm not sure i will write it down here which one lasts longer so or how long rassasi hawas last and nitro red because i haven't tested it yet so i will write it down here which one lasts longer projection both of them project the original project as well so what is the main differences between all of them Nitro Red smells more luxurious and has a very unique watermelon note and has that crazy, sexy Baccarat Rouge vibe to it. Hawass is amazing as well, but Hawass smells the cheapest out of all of them because it has that fabric softener oceanic note. But it smells super good and I recommend this one also all the time. The original Paco Robin Invictus where all of these started is the strongest, stingiest to the nose craziness so these are the differences and then it depends on what you like the most my personal preference i'm gonna do it in an order okay what is at number three i would say paco Robin invictus is number three then rassasi hawas is my number two and my number one is dumont nitro red i just love this one more than the other two and I get more compliments with it as well. So it makes me a little bit more biased, like, oh, I like it more. But I do like it more. But this one also gives me the most compliments out of these two. And I like my compliments, especially from hot ladies. And this one gets a lot of compliments from hot ladies, actually. They love this kind of a stuff. Trust me, it is that watermelon note that girls really like. I like it too. It's a trick. So for the people who wanted to an more explanation to this fragrance and now you know how this one smells i love this one the most gets me the most compliments i hope you can buy it because i know there is a big hype on this one at the moment and all of the time it keeps selling out so i hope you can get it right now again try to find it they have it on there most of the times perfumebox.com and what is also a very good thing is I have a code with perfumebox.com. It is curly for an extra discount. Now, and this is not me saying like, oh, this is good. Because you can buy Rassasi Hawas on there as well. And probably Paco Robin Invictus on there as well. It's just the website. Okay, so buy the one which you like. And use my code curly if you want it cheaper. Else don't use it. I don't care. So, is nice or red curly approved? Hell yes, of course, it is curly approved. I give it a nine out of a 10 for fresh fragrances because it is a very long lasting. It smells unique while it is very recognizable and it gets a lot of compliments and it is super sexy. So get it curly approved, get it right now. You wanted me to do this review? I have done it. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do a review of next and I will do it and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.